welcome to another episode of the doll diaries now in this video today i am going to show you what i got in a delivery from the juni moon web shop in japan juni moon they sell blive dolls fashion for blive dolls and then this other brand it's jeffrey hang on let me just get it off the website for you jeffrey uh, full Vimari. I'll put that up on the screen. Now I'll show you the artwork of this brand. It's that kind of style. And they sell, if you click on it, they sell like stationery, lifestyle goods, bags, pouches and wallets. So basically if you go on the Juni Moon online store those are the kind of things you can buy from there as well as Blythe dolls fashion for Blythe dolls Blythe doll accessories Blythe branded things for us etc so i made an order and uh, there's no doll in this order but it's all like Blythe items and i'm going to be doing some live crafting in this video as well so what i'm going to do i've already pre-recorded this video of me unboxing things and doing the live crafting and there's going to be a template for you if all goes to plan so i'm just going to send you over to that video and then i'll come back to you here at the very end and we can talk about it briefly okay i'll see you on the other side let's get opening these so these are empty boxes and it says a box filled with happiness for you and it's got blive on there and i just thought they were like, i know they're empty but i thought it might be a nice way to store some of my blithe items i got all these in the juni moon sale so i got them cheaper she was doing them quite a big sale So it's just white inside. That's really lovely. You actually, you say if you were gifting something to somebody, one of your doll friends, you could print out a picture of your own doll, couldn't you? And put it on a box. That's a really lovely idea, actually. So I'll get these out. Now these, this is Blythe underwear. Now I can see there's Velcro on the back of here. These are woven. We'll get, we'll, I'll try these on a doll in this video. Now, so this is the first uh, Dear Darling piece of clothing I've had. Now this is um, a brand that sells within the Juni Moon shop. They're fashion for dolls, that's what they call themselves. So here we have, now I don't know who makes these for Juni Moon, but this is an acrylic item and I ordered two of them. So I really hope two are in here. Now, I was going to get the stand as well as these, but it was going to push the um, it, over the customs threshold. I know that obviously I paid tax when this arrived in the country, which then Parcel Force add um, £12 on top of that tax then. Because you don't pay the tax in Japan. They remove the tax and then we pay the tax here, but they like to slap the £12 on, which is a bit annoying actually. Actually, I can show you the stand. So that is the stand which I took out of my cart. And there are some dress forms as well. But yeah, I will pop one of these out, if not all of them, in this video. Right, now, this is my first sewing pattern from them. It's a Dear Darling product as well. And I believe I will have the fabric inside of here to make a little headband for Blythe. Now I got three of them because I didn't know if this fabric was going to be cut ready to sew or if you were going to get a sewing pattern. I really wasn't sure. So anyway, I got, because they were so inexpensive, I got them in three colours because I thought, well, they're handy. I really like headwear on my dolls. So yeah, I've got them in a, a, a neutral colour she looks like very light beige, a very light purple and a pink colour. So I'm going to make one of these today. So you're going to see that in this video. One of them made up anyway. Now, as I say to you all the time, I don't buy live clothing because I make it. Uh, but look what I've bought. I've bought a dress. And you know what? I could not resist because this, again, dear darling, uh, it's, it 
it's an Alice in Wonderland theme and it's got dodos on it. Look at that tiny print and it's got little rabbits on it. I, I don't know what else. I have to really analyse it. There's definitely teacups and cupcakes and look they've used little tiny beads as buttons which that is a really lovely idea i always think oh we must use little buttons but why not beads as fake buttons that's a really lovely idea and they put it on a little card coat hanger which i might use that actually i might have to translate some of this on the back not that it's necessarily necessary to dress a doll, is it? <laughs> to translate the writing on it. Now, this is a real fun item and it is very inexpensive. Oh, and they've put something in the back of here, actually. Now, this is a cardboard item that you, I don't know if it's perforated or if I've got to use scissors, but it's actually for Halloween. So this, this will make up a hat. So I think what I'll have to do is this will come out. Maybe you do pop them out, I'm not sure. These will, I think these will need to be cut like this and folded up. And you'll be putting some kind of adhesive on them. And then this will wrap around. It will make a, a wizard hat or a witch's hat, won't it? So yeah, that's really exciting. It's like a lollipop and a few like little Halloween things, a Halloween box. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, it's called Halloween Paper Craft. And it's Junie Moon and Dear Darling. So yeah, I'm gonna translate that before I do anything with it, but I can kind of get the gist. And I am a paper crafter. I know I haven't shared any paper craft for a long time. I normally try and do one thing over the vlogmas, but I didn't do anything this vlogmas. The one just gone, unfortunately. And here we go, <laughs> some more clothing. I forgot I ordered these. It's a bit naughty of me buying clothes, isn't it, when I can make them, but when they're so inexpensive in the sale. goodness these are iron-on transfers for your doll's clothes so that's really amazing isn't it oh that's so exciting so yes i'm going to have to make some little blithe size t-shirts now aren't i and put those on we're a long way from halloween we're only in february but yes why not <laughs> So I'll pop that there in a moment and we'll have a look at these dear darling clothes. Now, even though those came together, they're not Halloween at all, really, are they? But again, they've used beads as buttons on here and they've used heart buttons on here. So yeah, that would be really nice. So I'm going to get these photographed um, individually. And then, yes, yeah, so we're gonna, I wanna do some sewing and I'm going to do some dolly dress up. So that'll be fun, won't it? So yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, I hope this lighting is okay because it's mainly natural light. Well, here are my two fighting milk girls. Now she's in the raincoat that I made for her. She has got some underwear on. Yeah, they've both got underwear on, but we could change them, couldn't we, into the, the underwear that I bought. But I've got the underwear here. So yeah, well, so we're going to pop maybe this girl into this dress. Oh, oh it's really lovely feeling fabric, actually. Ooh. I wonder what they use. Right. So let's do some dolly dress up. This is a, you know, the body that the doll comes with when you buy an authentic Blythe doll, a modern day, good smile company Blythe. Now these dolls have smaller hips than the, the fake dolls, the A's in one, so these, these pants probably wouldn't fit them. Oh, 
isn't it really lovely? That's very nice. Right, we'll pop the... Um, I don't think the red socks are going to go with this headband, actually. So I'm just going to pop her shoes off and her socks off, actually. Maybe I'll take these earrings out as well. I really think a blue bow would have looked nice with this one, but unfortunately, none of the ones in the pack had blue, so I'd have to source some blue fabric myself. Now, I don't know where this headband sits, if you, how far forward it goes. So we'll just pop her there like that. I'll, I will get this camera at a different angle for you to see this. Oh, she looks lovely. Right, now we're going to um, get this little girl. Now, this little girl is on a um, an OB22 body. Yes, yeah, so yes, these two knick knickers do fit her. I need to line them up a little bit better. Yeah, they do go on. A little bum cheeks hang, hang out the back. Yeah, I think these OB22 bodies are closer in size to their authentic bodies. So if you need, that's why I put her on that body, because I wanted her stock shoes to fit her. And um, the stock shoes wouldn't fit an A-zone body, and they wouldn't fit a um, an OB24 body either. So here's the skirt. So now this waist is so pretty, I'm going to have the shirt tucked in, because there's nothing fancy going on really at the bottom of this shirt. But the, the waistband of this skirt is very fancy. So, I'm going to open her eyes, actually. Oh, she's got the green eyes. <laughs> right, I'm going to get um, some shoes for them. Let's get them stood up. So this is how the bow turned out. It really looks lovely, doesn't it, on her? I think, I always think this doll suits a bow because she came with a hair bow. Oh yes, yeah, she looks darling in it, doesn't she? I see her head's a bit turned up because she's got the neck joint. So I can put her head down like her sister. Oh yes, that's really beautiful. The clothes are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I'm really happy with those. So what should we play with now? Should we pop out some coat hangers next, you think? Right, the camera's dropped a bit. So we've got these coat hangers, so we're going to try and pop some of these out. See what they look like. And then after this, we'll do some paper craft. So that just pops out. So now it's clear, it's see-through look. So I'm pushing from the back to see what happens. Yeah, so that has popped out now. Now I'm wondering do you peel this plastic off first at the back? Yeah, so you peel this plastic off, they'll, they'll all pop out. That's pretty simple. I've never had acrylic 
items from Junior Moon before. So that's what we're left with, that plastic. So I wonder if these will go back in. I don't think so, but... Oh, so if you wanted to pop them back in, you'd have to put the plastic back on and then they'd stick back on there. Now, I have got a tape for paper craft purposes that I could put on here if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm not planning on doing that anyway. Yes, I've got some lovely little coat hangers now. So you get in one pack four, five six seven eight so you get eight in one pack and i've bought two of these so yeah i'm gonna go and hang these up right i've got a little like wardrobe thing that i made i'll just pop a little miss to the side here actually i'll pop her over here and i've uh, yeah I've, these are some coat hangers i've made and i've got those on there and these are the blithe ones And these are other metal ones that um, I've made as well. So yeah, but they look lovely on there. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping them on there or be getting something a bit nicer for them. But yeah, it's really lovely, isn't it? So yeah, let's do some paper craft next. Right, I'm back now. And now we're going to do some paper craft. Now, what I did ahead of time is I um, photocopied this into my printer and I printed it out in colour. And unfortunately, I didn't do it in the best quality. So it didn't come out quite as vibrant as this. But I have got the box and have got all the little bits and bobs and I did also print obviously it printed out the hat as well but I stuck it to some cardboard I actually stuck it to the cardboard that came with this and I made the hat but it was a little bit firm so it did it didn't bend very well and uh, yeah I had a few problems so I thought no I'm not going to use this for my video I'm going to do something else so what I've done is I've um printed it out again but i've just done it in grayscale just to save my ink so i'll just pop this aside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this to some cereal boxes i've got some nutty what is it nutty crunchy fruit and fiber from the co-op <laughs> so uh, i'll just um open up the, the scene here I'm just going to stick it to this just to make a template. This won't be my final project. So it's out like this. Now, I'm one, I don't think this is going to fit this whole piece. Now, if you get um, the large Weetabix packets, they will do. So what I might do, I might cut this into pieces. So we'll be able to stick one on either side like this. Right, I'll get some glue. Right, I've just got some natural glue. It's not like some heavy duty kind of glue. It's all natural products. But I like this for sticking onto cereal packets. Now all I'm using this for is a template. I wasn't planning on using this for the hat. I just want to make something I can draw around. I, with this, I kind of, I don't, I try and rub it in. So the, if you leave it too wet, your paper will buckle. So I just really want to, this smells of almonds. It's rather nice actually. Cocachina, I think, or Cocachina. All I need to stick is this. That is all I want from this. I suppose I could use those, but yeah, it's just for this template. Right, I'm going to do it on the other side now. Which you don't need to watch me do that. I'll do it for this and I'll come back to you. 
I'm now going to cut these hat pieces out. Now, I wouldn't recommend using these to make a hat. I don't think this is bendy enough to get a nice smooth bend, is my personal opinion. However, it's kind of proving me wrong at the moment. But I think it's because it's wet and it's bending nicely because it's wet from the glue. <laughs> but we're gonna use these as a template. So actually, I might draw around these on a piece of paper and then uh, we'd have a template that we could scan, couldn't we? So here's a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper that it was a failed printout. So I just thought I'd, I'd reuse it, save wasting it. a ruler. I think my son's got my ruler at the moment. I've got this one. He hasn't got this ruler. Okay. Now I'm going to need to get an exo knife to get in this. Let's move this out of the way. This might be quite blunt, this knife, but we'll just see. It's gone through. Yeah, I don't think we needed to really get in all of them. We're going if you for your project you need to keep these tabs for making the hat. But for this, we're using it as a template. Do not cut these tabs off in your final project. I'm only cutting them out to make the template. So we're just cutting these out. But don't do this to your junior moon project. We now have a paper pattern. Do you know if we want to make this again? So if we want to make one in paper or felt, we can do. But I've got this anyway to draw around, but I can scan this into my computer and try and get this to you somehow. I will load it onto Google Drive and I will leave a link in the description below this video. Right, I'm going to use these scrappy pieces of black card I've got. I don't think, it's card, but it's not mega thick. Not like cereal packet. I'd say that's slightly lighter than that one. There's not much in it. I think this will bend okay, but only time will tell. So, let's see, which is the wider of the two? I probably could fit it onto one piece, actually. Yeah, I could do. Maybe I'll use the firmer one for this one and the slightly thinner one for this one. But I am going to draw around these now. 
Now you could use a circular compass and then you would get a really, really nice smooth circle. Now let's hope, now you might not be able to see this. Let's have a look. I can't actually see it actually. Right, I think I need some chalk. <laughs> it doesn't show up. Right, I only wanted a chalk pencil but other ones I found needed sharpening so what I've done is I've, I'm using this chalk <laughs> you can't see this either oh my goodness it just looks wet <laughs> that is so strange I'll see what it looks like when I've finished. I can actually see it. Can you? Oh yes, just about. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to work quickly before it dries. I think a little bit of white is starting to come through. Right. <laughs> Let's cut this out. I'll try and do it nice and smoothly. Not great when I can't see the line very well. Yeah, I recommend a chalk pencil if you was to draw directly onto black card like, like this. But yeah, I'm just trying to work with what I've got quickly to do this video. Now I have to bear in mind some of this is a tab as well. Now I'm going to lightly score with my EXO knife here, but I'm going to try and to not go through the cardboard. I'm just going to make a dent. Just very lightly like that. Just so we can bend it like that. Now I think for this to work, we'll probably have to just cut the the end of it a little bit. Right, I need the exo knife again actually to get into here. Unless we just get the uh, the hole punch. That's another way of doing it. I don't know how far this will go in actually. Yeah, it doesn't go in very far this particular hole punch. Now I'm just doing as I was doing before. I'm using the EXO knife in that centre circle on those lines going around because we're going to be folding those and applying adhesive to them for sticking to the inside of the hat. Basically, we're just going to cut in like that. So I'll move this out of the way. Just cutting little tabs up to that drawn line. I know you probably can't see that drawn line very well. I'm going, to, I'm going to fold them right out like this to give them the best possible chance of sticking to my hat. Okay, just pop that aside. Now we're going to do some embellishing. So this hat has white stars on it. So should we do something similar? 
Now I've got this pearlescent scrappy piece here. Now I must admit, I think we need to bend this before we start sticking too much on it. I think maybe the embellishing might be better be put on this when it's together, but this we can definitely do ahead of time. Now I'm just going to bend this actually around this glue part to start with like this it needs to be something smaller really something it can go all the way around <laughs> because look this is too big but it's it does encourage it Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some adhesive on this and something quite sturdy. So this red double-sided tape is a rather sturdy thing to use. So I want it right up to that seam line, ideally. rub this okay like this and then we try and lift it without taking both there should be a sticky layer under here shiny layer underneath you know the glue is still on then mm. we might need to cut a tad more off this sticking out here so it's like that right now we're going to put some wet glue on this now i tried applying wet glue to the tabs of this hat but unfortunately they wasn't sticking very well and due to the odd shape of the hat i couldn't really keep clip them in place until it was time for them to dry so then I tried hot glue and I didn't find my best hot glue gun and that wasn't sticking either so in the end I used double-sided tape on these tabs so I will fast forward to that piece of video this is a toothpick So after all the failed attempts, I decided to put red double-sided tape underneath the rim of the hat and then I peeled it and used that to stick to the bottom. Yeah, the, my wet glue obviously didn't work very well, but it doesn't mean yours won't. It's just because mine didn't. So this has just worked better for me. Right, I think that isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Should we decorate? Right, we're back. Here's our hat. Here's a, a demo kind of hat that went wrong. That's that print type we've used. Which is obviously the same as the original. So here now is our card. Now we've got to decide how we're going to stick these on. Oh, I didn't tell you, I'm using a punch, a star punch. Right, 
Right, we've got a few. Right, maybe we'll get some sticky dots for this. Now, if you've got any stickers, you could use Halloween stickers. You could use Halloween stickers. Right, let's find where the dots begin. Right, we've got some here. What's the stick to my XO9? Here we go. hand inside against the back of these stars to give them a bit more security yeah I think that's the amount of stars we need but right, I'm gonna get some ribbon now to go around the edge right I'm back now I've set up in my kitchen because my husband is doing the renovation out the front and banging and playing the radio however I've moved in everything into here and now he's packing up so I could have stayed in there. And now you've got pitter pattering of dog feet, which I'm, I'm really sorry about. But anyway, well, anyway, I've got some lovely things from Hobby Craft. Now I had a voucher to, sp if I spent 15 pound, I got five pound off using my Hobby Craft app. So um, yeah, I picked up a few things while I was in there. So I got this ribbon, sparkly, and I thought this would look lovely around the outside of this what do you think and then i thought oh maybe i'll put a button on there as well so i've basically i've got some thread to hand and my uh, hand sewing needles so uh so this is a mouse i made it was a pattern by thimble wood and i keep my sewing hand sewing needles on it so i'll pop that there i've got some sellotape I don't obviously need all these for the for this, but this is some of the things I picked up. I picked up a, a fat quarter pack of some black and white fabrics. I got some Laura Ashley fabrics. This is all with doll doll making things in mind, I think, or any or any other things. And I got some lovely me to you bear quarters now i had this theme at my wedding with these bears so aren't they lovely and i thought these are really ditzy i was looking for ditzy prints which i found but yeah lovely i know those aren't so ditzy but i can definitely see a use for those right let's get um sorted now we could hot glue a button on but i'm going to sew it on I see how much we're going to need. I'll I'll do more than we need. I'm going to find the halfway point of this, which is about here. I'm only going to go into the back of the ribbon. I'm kind of in the centre. just sealed that off a couple of times on the back maybe cut that a little, little bit smaller as I say you could hot glue this on but I'm a sewer so yeah I prefer to sew I'll pop this back on my mouse good habits to do this actually and wind up the bobbin I'm just going to have a look at this, see how high I'm going to need it. I 
Right, I'm going to put some tape on here. They're not always the easiest thing to deal with. I find heating them up with your finger like this can really, really help. Try and pick from the edge. If you, right, I'm gonna try scoring it because I'm not having much luck lifting it from the edge. We'll have a look. Yes, you can. I can see if it's shiny, you know that it's it's stuck to the ribbon or whatever else, what you're sticking it to. Yeah, that's lovely. So I can peel that nicely. Now, what you can do with these is not peel it entirely. You can start at the back like this. And just do a little bit. that's how it's looking at the front yeah it, i think basically if i'd use a thinner ribbon it probably would have sat a bit more flush but yeah it doesn't look too bad does it yeah i'm pretty happy with that and then if you want to add anything else to it then you can do right and then what i was thinking of doing is for this outfit is make making a t-shirt which i might not do in this video because of how long it's going to take uh, and stick one of these onto it or you could use a ready ready to wear t-shirt couldn't you now i've made a stripy dress before which i could add one of these to but yeah i'm thinking i'm going to make a t-shirt anyway um i'll see you in the next piece of video right i was looking through my doll clothes and i forgot i made this out of my raincoat lining so i'm going to read the instructions i'm going to put one of these on on the top and i think it will go really well with this hat and then maybe i'll make a skirt to go with it welcome back now i hope you like seeing me making that hat now i've got the doll here this is brenda and a little hat but yeah she looks really lovely doesn't she i've since taken her shoes off because i'm getting in the habit of regularly taking my doll's shoes off because i'm finding i'm sometimes when i'm carrying them from one place to place in my craft room which i'm kind of still in at the moment um i'm dropping them and then i can't find them so yeah and some shoes stay on better than others and hats apparently <laughs> I suppose I could put some elastic on this, you know, if I wanted to carry her around. But yeah, she looks lovely in a little Halloween outfit. So I went on and I made this skirt. This was the, the top I'd already made that um once went my Wednesday Adams doll that I made the doll I customised into Wednesday Adams was wearing at one point. And uh, yeah, and I ironed on the transfer and it worked very well. The only thing is because it's stripy, you can't see the black bits quite as clear you can see it to eyes and things if you look up close and the how i've got this um halloween fabric oh it's lovely look see the little spider and the little cat i made myself a dress and i wore this to a halloween event and i've since made a one for barbie actually the first skirt i made for this I, it ended up too long and things, and I've given it to Tall Barbie, so she's wearing it at the moment. But yeah, and I'd pre-made these leg warmers to go with the dress that I've made. But yeah, she looks lovely, doesn't she? Now, I've still got my original piece, um, you know, hole. So yeah, I I'm a bit reluctant to cut into it at the moment. But I've got the, uh, do you know, the box that I printed myself, and I've basically, I've folded all the edges, I just need to glue it. Now, what I think you're supposed to do with this is see that there's some little lines there. You get an exo knife and knife them and put in a handle and stick this down so it's something the dolls will be able to carry. 
so it'll be like like open at the top and all this will be closed at the bottom and I'll just try and I probably should have made this ready for this video I think that was my intention actually and then I just never got around to it but yes but obviously the printout looks much nicer but I could do this in better quality and I think this card this was the cardboard that came in my delivery back in this and I think it's a bit too stiff anyway my middle son is at home today and I've scanned this into my computer, have I? Into my printer app. And I'm going to try and get him to help me get this online for you to download. So if we're successful... Oh, my light's gone off. I've gone really dark. I'll try and get it back on. Baby. It's back on. It's not a great light as it is. But anyway, as I say, if we're successful, there'll be a link for this in the description box. And just make sure you print it to size actual size and remember you don't cut that out you have to basically slice you know that kind of shape you don't need to trace these lines or anything and then that's just where you bend them i put i cut my scissors in extra bits so the tabs were a little bit smaller but i think it depends on the thickness of your card but yeah i hope you enjoy making a hat your dolls for Halloween so anyway now going on from that piece of video since that piece of video um I was disliking the length of my first fighting milk doll's neck because she's the one that's on the OB22 body and um so I basically I've chopped a bit off so she looks a bit more like when the dolls are on this is not a good example actually I'll get her sister Basically, she's got a big polar neck on at the moment. <laughs> so she's more like a sister, even though she's on a different body. So obviously she's got less articulation, but this space is the only Blythe doll, of authentic Blythe doll I've made modifications to. I've made loads of modifications and customization to my fake dolls. Uh, or copycat dolls or clone factory whatever you like to call them but my stock she's like my she, i experiment on her my first one but i leave all the other ones as they are but yes these are the same doll obviously one's got purple eyes at the moment and one's got green and you can guess why <laughs> she's got the green because i was making some little um sh items for my shop so basically um yeah so the this is the only colourway I have left actually and um, this one because I basically I made two of all of them so I'd have one to keep for my own dolls and only one to sell because they take a long time to make but yeah this one has gone already this colourway and then I'll just show you if you follow me on social media you will have seen these so yeah I've sold this colourway already yeah this is a uh, dear forest dear And this is a Miss Elorio file style. And yeah, that's the black jumper. But yeah, I've already sold that colourway. And actually, Elizabeth, you might if you watch my other videos, you might have heard me mention Elizabeth. Elizabeth bought them and she's in America. So they got shipped off to America yesterday. But yeah, I've only got that one left now. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. I can't wait for you to receive your order. So, right. Now the boxes. Now, I haven't ended up putting Blythe items in here. Now, in this one, I've ended up putting... Well, no, I have, actually. Tell a lie. I've got some little cards I've been gifted. Actually, if you follow my Stitch Diaries, you might have heard me mention Jules Hill. She's so sweet, Violet. She, um, she sent me some dolly pegs because they were too small for her project. And she sent me these little cards and they're of her actual knitting and crochet but she just put those in as a gift so yeah that was really nice of her actually i've ordered something from her for you craft people so uh yeah so hopefully for my stitch diaries so yeah i've got this was a gift from robin from australia it's the uh it's from the bly fest that they have over there and yeah, and I've got some little things from Moshi Moshi. I'm going to add to this, actually. I've got things I had from Blythe Khan. I've got a Christmas card from Moshi Moshi. I've got those lottery things from Junie Moon. I've got some Alice in Wonderland things. And that, that was from Blythe Khan, actually. That card. So yeah, all just mainly... Oh, Blythe. Oh, 
little Matilda Atelier. That's a card I received from her. Oh, because I bought this bed from her. <laughs> it's used bed. <laughs> so she popped that card in. So yes, yeah, so I'm just putting kind of flat, mainly live items in that one. And in this one, now what I've done, I designed a file and uh, and turned and turned it into a cut file it was a bit tricky i will admit uh, but i did it and i made these so basically when i sell anything any doll clothing doll skirts they'll be on these like little coat hangers <laughs> but yeah so i'm keeping those in there right is there anything else i need to show you so basically the girls are out of those clothes now. They're hanging on their little hangers. Oh, and regarding, do you remember me saying that this stand was going to push me over the customs threshold? So I took it out of my cart. Well, I made, since I recorded this video, I've made another order from the Juni Moon website. So I'll have some more items to craft with, more items to sew with, and I've ordered the stand and I think I've put the dress forms in as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be coming back to you. That um, delivery has got shipped today, had a notification. However, I will have some other doll diary videos maybe in between that because I've got a doll unboxing to do. I've bought some mini things that um, maybe I'm going to do a video on. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, it might be a doll unboxing next. And then maybe it might be the other Juni Moon delivery. It just depends on how things go. Now, things have been slow on the, well, I say slow on the craft front. I've been doing craft every single day because I've been doing a live photography challenge once a week called Flat Lay Sunday. So I get that um, picture prepped before the Sunday and get it all, it all ready. So I've been doing crafts for that. So that's ready for this Sunday. And the theme this week is Pot of Gold. Last week it was Favourite Colour and the week before was Pastels. I, I haven't been doing it any longer than that. So though, so I'll sh actually I'll share the picture. I'll show you the video, uh, the photo I shared for my Pastel Flat Lay Sunday. I'll put that up. Then I'll put my Favourite Colour. So I'll put that up which you can probably guess my favourite colour, pink. <laughs> I love all colours actually. So yeah, it's hard to choose a favourite colour. And uh, yeah, and this week it's going to be pot of gold. So obviously I'm not going to show you because I've got to save that until Sunday. So I've got that that's going on. And because I have been busting a gut, I've been basically knitting at night, sewing in the day to get these things ready for um, St. Patrick's Day. However, the delivery that I've sent is going to America, so that's probably not going to arrive before St. Patrick's Day. And I've got one left. And uh, yeah, and unless I was hoping somebody might, might have ordered it yesterday, so I could have posted today, so someone would get it in time. But yes, so yeah, it probably won't sell now because obviously it's St. Um, Patrick's Day, so I might have to put it away maybe for next year. And but it will be on my shop, I think. The listing stays on Etsy until like July, so I'll probably just leave it on there. And if it doesn't sell, I'll I'll put it away and I'll put it on next year in in maybe. I put it on at the start of the year or something so it gives people a chance to uh think about it so anyway so yeah i think i've spoke to you about everything now i can't wait to come back to you with um some more videos um basically i lost my voice or i had my voice and was choosing not to speak so yeah so <laughs> it, this is the first day i've felt like actually speaking in front of the camera so yeah i apologize for the delay in videos it's still sore and the doctor has told me to rest he said it looks really red and angry and he's recommended deflam spray and things but yeah <laughs> but anyway so thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the doll diaries and i will see you next time bye